Sis, are you ready to get your life under control? Are you ready to make a change? Are you ready to get out of this slump state? Are you ready to just feel the best you that you can be? Are you ready to feel like you have energy? You're not fatigued? You're not tired? Are you ready to put on that dress that you got sitting in that closet that you can't wear anymore? Sis, then today is the day where I tell you how to lose 20 pounds in one month. You heard me right. Yes, how to lose 20 pounds in one month. Okay? Welcome, ladies, to Pretty Incorporated, where we are loving on ourselves and we are shining our light on the world as everyday women trying to conquer our dreams and live life the way we want to and loving on ourselves and being unapologetically. I am Germany, and on today, I am bringing you a few tips and a few strategies and things and food ideas to help you get on track and start in the new year to lose 20 pounds within one month. All right, so let's get to the video. How to lose 20 pounds within one month. The secret is intermittent fasting you guys when i tell you intermittent fasting saved me oh my goodness it saved me it was like yo it was the best thing since donuts Cakes, cookies, and pies that just jump started my body and reset my my body to get into this state of just dropping pounds, dropping pounds. I mean, I was like, "What?" It was crazy. It was so crazy. So, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is basically where you are you are not eating for a certain amount of time, and then you give yourself. Uh, yeah, you're basically not eating for a certain amount of time. That's really it in a nutshell. And so um, what it is, I will tell you the type of intermittent fasting I did was 16-8, where I would fast for 16 hours, and then I had an eight-hour window to where I can have food. Okay? And so the key thing I will tell you to do is develop a routine. That is, as soon as you wake up, you want to get a 16-ounce uh, bottle of water or a glass of water, whichever one you want to do, and ch just chug it as soon as you get up. As soon as you get up out the bed, you got to go pee or something, whatever you got to do. As soon as you get out the bed, go get you a 16-ounce bottle of water and drink it. I would highly say you want to constantly drink, you want to be drinking throughout this whole fasting period. You never want to stop drinking. Yes, you're going to go to a bathroom a lot, but it's cleaning out your system, cleaning out your your organs and things like that and cl just cleaning them out. So definitely you want to constantly drink water. Um to avoid the headaches and things like that, I would say you need to drink lemon water or you need to drink water with electrolytes. Me, I did lemon, I did lemon and I did water with electrolytes. I will tell you the one I get is the great value kind at Walmart. This is the hydrate alkaline water which has electrolytes in it for taste. Uh, or you know I need to you can do um I didn't, I didn't do this like a bunch, but I did get Propel uh, water packets, and I, I drank one of those in a 16-ounce 16 16 ounce water bottle, and I had one of those as well as one of these. And now this is the one I need to finish working on, but I'm going to finish this before the day is over with. But I want to have it to show you all that this is what I do, and you can see on the inside there is lemon in there because it's a little lemon, um, little pieces and stuff, felt pulp sorry from the lemon in there so definitely drink drink water constantly constantly you don't want uh and i would say if you cannot drink water you can do those again those sugar packets that i always suggest definitely do those um get you at least 64 ounces to a gallon if you cannot get a gallon please try to aim for 64 ounces of water a day if you cannot get a gallon the next thing to do is work 
out at least three to five days a week. You can intermittent fasting. Yes, you can lose weight on your on its own, but to lose it quickly and to lose that 20 pounds within that one month, you need to incorporate some exercise. So you can either work out at least three to five days a week for maximum results. Okay. You, like I said, you don't have to work out when fasting, but I would recommend that you all try to at least get oh, some workouts in there, okay? Now, the first three days are going to be hard because your body is feeling like it's starving. You know, it's going to give you probably headaches. Try to push through the first three days and you will be perfectly, perfectly fine. I promise you will be fine. Okay, so how to break your fast. When you get ready to fast, how do you break your fast? So you want to either have a green juice. And I used to, I go to Whole Foods to get my green juices. You want to go to Whole Foods to get your green juice. Um, and I get the green aid. It's called green aid. And I will insert a picture here. I don't have any with me because I haven't drunk any in a while. Again, either I had a protein shake. And this, even if I didn't use it to break my fast, this is what I was this is what I was eating on and drinking on throughout um, my process, throughout the month. Okay, so I had protein shakes. I had chicken and avocado. Okay, so what I would do is I would go to Walmart and get diced chicken packets. Um, the diced chicken, I would get that. I would give me, not avocado, it was guacamole. I was getting um, fresh guacamole. It wasn't fresh, but I was getting guacamole from Whole Foods along with my green juices. And so, you know, avocado is a healthy fat. And when people do keto, they always, they do eat a lot of uh, avocados on it so I was thinking I like guacamole I don't I can't just eat avocado straight so let's just have the best of both worlds so I would mix the chicken and avocado together and just eat it but then I would get I inserted a picture these taco um these little uh, tortilla strips which were low in carbs um that you put in salads and I would mix a few of those inside of it just to give it that crunch and give it like that taco taste and I'm telling you that all that helped with I either did one of those breaking my fast. Another meal I was eating while doing it was I would have ground turkey, uh, white rice, white jasmine rice, and I'll insert a clip of me preparing that and stuff. Um, yeah, ground turkey, white jasmine rice, and I would have bell pepper and onion in there. And I use this uh, ground sausage seasoning because um, I don't eat pork and things like that. So it helps me to still have a um, sausage taste. It has the sausage taste to it. So that way you can still feel like you are eating a sausage. So the benefits of the intermittent fasting is that it will suppress your cravings after a while after you've been doing it for a few, like two weeks um, or even after the first week honestly it will start suppressing your appetite you won't crave things anymore um, and it will stop your cravings uh, you will lose inches and you will lose fat like the one thing I saw was in my midsection um, was that I had really, really lost. It was really showing in my stomach area and then just waking up, my stomach wasn't so bloated and things like that because I had stopped eating earlier throughout the day. And so, yeah, it just really, really like helped me to like just learn about, you know, what was triggers in my diet and all this type of stuff so i would highly encourage you guys to definitely definitely try um this out and i will show you i'm going to insert a bunch of clips and things from me while i was doing it and the things that i did me working out me making food me drinking the green juice things like that to show you guys that i really did commit to that yes my stomach me now I am not fresh out of having surgery. I do not believe my, like my stomach, I believe it's stretched. I will tell you the truth. And so me doing that was like me realizing that it was something I needed to do. It wasn't that because I still portioned my food. I still ate small. I still disciplined myself. I still sacrificed for a short time, um, like feeding myself like cookies, cakes, pies, all this type of stuff. So it is definitely a challenge. So how to lose 20 pounds in one month you want to intermittent to fast you want to develop a workout routine you want to drink plenty of water you want to eat as clean as possible and as low as calories as possible as well as low in carb as 
possible. Whichever one works for you, please do it. But that is what you want to do. I highly recommend you girls do it. Please, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments. I would definitely uh, comment to help you. Send me a emails message me on instagram anything that you need to know i definitely definitely will help you so i encourage you girls to please 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 try this out let me know if it works for you sometimes again i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist this is just the things that i've done so make sure you check with your doctors and pete and things like that to just you know to see if it is right for you to do but this is what has helped me to really get to 140 142 pounds so like kudos so i highly recommend you girls try it so definitely all right thank you pretties for watching i hope you girls like it please don't forget to like comment subscribe join the pretty family because we're only getting bigger from here and i will see you girls in the next video